new videos every day. Hello, Joseph Strickland here, Applied Clinical Nutritionist in Austin, Texas. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about observation. This might seem like a simple topic, but it boggles my mind how many people just don't observe. <laughs> and I'll give you an example of this, right? To me as a nutritionist, when I go to a local food market that let's say is just a regular food market, you know, they've got the, the regular hormoned beef, um, unnatural chicken, um, they've got packaged food mostly, uh, non-organic vegetables, just a run-of-the-mill regular grocery store. It is amazing to me, and, and in fact, I can't even go there anymore because you, you know you're in line and you're behind this this huge line of people and I mean it really speaks to what is wrong with America today you know 66 percent of us I think last time I read are obese and when you go to a regular run-of-the-mill store you really see what that statistic means um, you know you see a lady who's overweight, and, and you know, I don't have a problem with people being overweight. I think it's something that each person has to conquer on their own. But when you see them with, you know, sugared cereals, um, along with some Twinkies, um, Little Debbies, and, you know, four or three liters of Coca-Cola, it's just not right, you know? And one of the places that I just, I have a really hard time going to is Walmart. Because, I, and I really, I, I hesitate to do this video because I don't want to sound like a racist or uh, full of myself or, or whatever. I definitely understand that uh, even I uh, could do better and, and strive to do better and do do better. Uh, and I'm not trying to talk down or look down on people. However, when you go into Walmart, these foods are priced at a very low amount. So people buy these huge bulk loads of stuff. And you really see, you know, families with, you know, six kids that are six years old. And I'm sorry, but they're, they're really fat. Um, and that's something that, that's hard for me to see. Now, take that experience. Put it in the back. Now, go to a place like... Whole Foods, Sun Harvest Farms, Central Market. And it's amazing that 66% maybe goes down to like 3%. I mean, really, the number of people that are obese or overweight in a Whole Foods market is markedly less. And I hate to say this, but the people that are overweight or obese at Whole Foods market generally look better than the obese or fat people at a Walmart. I think there's even a website you can go to. Uh, on the comments section, you can leave it and search for it, but people have actually taken pictures of people at Walmart, and you see kind of the craziness that, that these bulk stores with all this processed food um, generate. Um, but really, what I'm talking about here is just the ability to look at where something is coming from and deciding whether or not you trust that source of information. It goes down to this old concept of who do you listen to? Do you listen to the person that says it's totally fine to go ahead and binge and eat, you know, five things of um, pretzels and, you know, two bags of uh, Chips Ahoy and then down it down with some milk, you know? Do you listen to that person and think it's okay to do that? Or do you look at that and go, well, maybe they're on the road to diabetes or various things like that. Look at what you want and look at the people who have what you want. In other words, if you see somebody at a gym and they're, they're skinny and they look very healthy, vibrant looking skin, good hair, uh, nails, and they, they just look good. If you walked up to them and said, hey, what do you do for nutrition? you might find they would be a better source of information than 
not to say this is a bad name, but some guy named Billy Bob, for instance, who, you know, is five times the size he should be eating just straight barbecue, um, you know, with hormoned meat. Anyway, not to go off on a rant, but it's very important to observe for yourself and decide for yourself what source of information you should take for yourself. And also look at where and what you should do for whatever's going on. If you're one of those people that shops at a regular food market and is you know, getting five liters of Pepsi or Coke and, and um, feeding your kids you know, the, the sugared cereals, I mean no disrespect to you. Uh, that's certainly your choice if that's what you choose to do. However, if you do have the goal of you know, being thinner and things like that, start with where you, what you're eating. Um, I do not have a problem with somebody deciding that they want to be big and they, that's how they want to be. Um, for instance, you know, not everybody can drive a Lexus. Um, I, for sure, you can tell by looking at me, do not have a Lexus body. I choose not to live that way. Um, however, those that, that want to you know, drive a, a 1976 Pinto um, unknowingly and not knowing that that's what they're doing, that's where this is directed at. You know, don't get stuck in something that you're unknowingly doing. You know, look at what you're doing um, in order to handle it. Okay, and that's really all that's about. Have a great day. Go to my website, nutritionaustin.com. Um, I didn't mean to offend anybody. If I did, I'm sorry. And um, have a great day. Definitely check out the videos on this site. There's tons of good ones. Bye. I liked it. I thought you were too apologetic, though. <laughs>